If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications. Let's see how a three-phase motor works. When the motor is connected to a three-phase supply, the rotating three-phase AC signal generates a fluctuating magnetic field across the stator. The direction of rotation of this field changes according to the positive and negative halves of the AC signal. According to Faraday's law, when the copper bars of rotor cut this magnetic field, the current gets induced in the rotor. This induced current develops the own magnetic field of rotor. When these two magnetic fields interact with each other, they develop the torque or force that drives the rotor in a circular motion continuously. Thus, three-phase motor is self-starting. If the rotor and the magnetic field of the stator rotate with the same or synchronous speed, rotor bars will never cut the magnetic field lines and there will be no current induced in the rotor. Hence, the rotor and the magnetic field of the stator never rotate with the same speed. The difference between the synchronous speed and the actual speed is called as the slip speed. It is given as percentage slip equals ns minus n upon ns into 100, where ns equals synchronous speed and n equals actual rotation speed of motor measured in rotations per minute. The advantages of three-phase motors are they are cheap, robust and reliable and can withstand overload conditions. If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications.